Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Starting off today with a series of new videos following up on my previous GTX 680 SLI review. So what basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to test out as many SLI compatible games as possible and some that do require a little uh, SLI inspector hack tool uh, to show you really how strong these old 680s really are in 2022. Now before that, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe down below and thank you for watching. So I'm going to start off here with Battlefield 2, which arguably could be the best game of the series. Uh, this game still looks good for its time, especially when you have all the settings maxed out. It really looks nice. So here I'm going to be able to actually pull off 1440p and 4K. So let's take a look at the settings. As you can see, we're on 1440p and everything maxed out, V-Sync off. Now, what's cool about uh, this uh, game here, sometimes you're able to unlock this option here, 32x on the anti-aliasing, depending, I guess, how high uh, performance of your card is. Now, I actually didn't see this option unlocked uh, when I use more newer, more powerful cards. It's kind of weird, but sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. But this really gives a really nice crisp look. So as you can see, everything is maxed out, and uh, these are the kind of frame rates you could expect here. Pretty nice. Can't complain. Game is looking good, running good. Everybody looks crisp here. You could see both GPUs are clearly being utilized. Yeah, this one is native. Pretty much every Battlefield, except the latest one, supports SLI. Battlefield 5 did require a little hacking with the uh, NVIDIA Inspector. But you could see with the newer, newer one, they really don't want you to do that anymore at all, which is unfortunate. One of the reasons I think it uh, doesn't support DirectX 11 anymore, at least uh, Battlefield 5 did have the option for 11 and 12. And at the end of it, the day, I think 11, DirectX 11 was the better one for Battlefield 5. Yeah, very nice here, very nice. Oh, oh. Can I even last through this video? That's the that's the question here. Uh oh. And I did not. Look at that. All right, let's get into it. All right, so that was 1440p. Let's take a look at 4K here. Now 4K does require lowering this thing to four i already tried it before so it, it wouldn't it wasn't too too playable 8x was uh probably 50 60 fps this is better i think so we're just gonna stay with that and let's see where is it there it is Now, of course, you guys could see I'm, I'm recording these uh, games now with the camera here. Uh, that's because you know, I'm not going to really get the performance uh, using Shadowplay, especially in SLI uh, uh, configuration. Uh, it's just going to crash and it's not going to be good at all. It, it really uh, messes things up unless you have an external recorder, which I don't. So that's how we're going to do it. And I'm showing you these settings live all in one shot here. No, no tricks. All right, so oh, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, so here we are now. We are in 4K. Take a look here. Very nice. 
frame rates are real good. Now, of course, uh, the latest and the greatest graphics cards will run this game 4K maxed out with just a single one, no problem. But still, I think it's quite impressive. And please guys, if you're new to my channel, subscribe, it really helps out. Hit the like button, that way YouTube can recommend my video. Uh, lately, in the last year or so, I'm having a lot of troubles. Uh, YouTube is not, it's not recommending at all my videos, at all. It's kind of crazy, even though I have uh, subscribers and according to my stats, uh, quite a bit of them have the bell notification but they're just not getting it out to them at all I don't know why but appreciate it so whatever you guys could do I appreciate it thank you so let's continue on here again don't worry about the temperatures because these cards are pretty old and that's what you expect These are blower style. Uh, I'm sh and oh, original thermal paste. These were never opened up. Original thermal paste. That's right. Over ten years old. So we're pushing it to the max. Gonna be getting rid of these. Uh, that's why I just wanna get a little bit more usage out of them before I'm. Probably put them in some budget rigs or something like that, I don't know. Oh, also, I will be doing a review of this card by itself. And I mentioned that before in a previous video that the comparison to a single card is like a GTX 10, 1050 Ti, pretty much similar performance. Of course, uh, this one takes a lot more power. As I'm sure you're well aware, the, the, the 1050 Ti doesn't even require an additional uh, power connection to it. Although there may be a version that does. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, as you can see, the, the main card is getting really toasty. So that's how you know it's being used real well. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.